doing it ourselves, and the experts are showing us how to do it. She spent 13 years helping women build confidence through living a DIY lifestyle in every way, from hair to home, with a gift for teaching herself new skills. DIY expert and YouTuber Maria Antoinette Loggins knows how to create something out of nothing. Her creativity brought her to NBC's DIY competition series called Making It and to HGTV's digital show, Handmade. Take a look. Now that we have the wood bead on there, I'm gonna go ahead and hang this up because chandeliers are all about symmetry and it's going to be so much easier to see that it's laying even and has perfect symmetry when it's hanging. Now that we have everything beaded through our main wood bead, we are going to take the remaining string, and tie a few knots to secure that into place. Well, Maria has been working hard on a DIY project. We've been waiting for Tanfan. Please welcome Maria Antoinette to the yeah. stage. Yeah. Yeah. Maria yeah. Antoinette Loggins. I, can I just say I'm obsessed over your name? Thank Beautiful. You. Okay, so you've been working on this headboard, which I didn't realize so many people make their own headboards, and you have made it very easy for us to understand. Yes. So we're starting out with these little cutouts, right? Yes, okay. this is our first step. Well, our first step is getting our uh, material that we're gonna put the cutouts on. Okay. So we will cut them out out of these foam sheets. Okay. With a cutter. We've already done that. All right. We are going to place them now. So it's gonna be counterintuitive to work backwards for this, and there's a reason. Okay. So just go with me. So our first four, we're gonna lay out. We're gonna have it lay over the edge just a little bit. Mm -hmm. And we are going to take our upholstery st stapler. Oh, just a regular upholstery stapler, yes, okay. Yes, ma'am. And since we're covering on this side, we will staple on this side to hide it. Okay. So we're gonna take that down. You wanna oh, do the next one? Oh, and then the next one? one? Exactly. All right. Okay, you wanna try it? Oh, sure. All right. Apparently, I don't have enough staplers in my life because it seems like this is the go-to thing. It is the go-to right. thing. And then you just, just line them up. Just like that. Okay. Wonderful. Right. Now for our second row, and this is why we work backwards, we're going to want to brick lay in between. Okay. Okay, and this is how we get the scallop mermaid fin effect. All right, so you've done that already, and this is halfway through, as I said, before this hour's over, you're gonna complete this oh, headboard for us. I got you guys. So we do the scalloping, mm -hmm. and where do I secure these? So you can secure where it's hidden. So you oh. can just staple. Oh, wherever it's hidden. Mm -hmm. Okay. I like to go ahead and get as many laid down as I possibly can. Okay. And then you staple them into place. I love that you actually Wonderful. teach this to other women. This is yes. your passion. It is. Crafting has gotten me through a lot in life, mm -hmm. and I always get asked about how do you have so much confidence, and I know it's because of pushing myself to do things that most people wouldn't even dare to do. Do you always dress up like this when it's time? I love oh, it. No. <laughs> I asked Maria, does she always dress this elegantly when she's doing DIY? I love it. I don't. You this don't. is all for you. This is all for the Tam fam. Okay. All right. I like it. All right. So we keep going down the line in that, and then you it's secure. The same thing. Sink all the way down. All the way down. Okay. Once we get to the bottom, we are going to take our pipe cover. All right. Do you guys know what this is for? Covering pipes. Thank Plumbing. you. You what? would never think, plumbing. Plumbing? This oh, is, this is what you see in your basement. This yeah, is what yeah, you see yeah. in your, yeah. it's flexible. Right. It's got a slit in it. Okay. We're gonna open that slit up. Okay. And we are gonna cover the edge of our. Let's oh, so this will line our This is headboard. going to cover our headboard. Okay. And it is going to allow us to have a beautiful finish on it. Okay. We would secure this down with a caulk adhe adhesive. So okay. you would open that up and it would wrap all the way around. Right, so envision this wrapping all the way around the headboard. Okay. And with this inside of it, our last step. All okay, right, I'm me, listening. No, 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 you're fine. Listen. Open. I take my DIY seriously. I see, right? girl. I love it. That's what it's seriously. all about. Okay. All right. Beautiful. This okay. is exactly how it should look. Okay. And okay. Then we, we would do that completely would do all that the way around? Completely all the way around. Okay. We would adhere it down with a caulk adhesive. Okay. Let that dry. Once it's cured, we would come back and we will paint with our metallic bronze paints. Oh, wow. Everything is going to okay. get a coat of paint. All right, so your upbringing inspired you to get involved in DIY space. You um, are a child of a single mom. Yes. You learn to be practical. I mean, you, what else can you do? What else can you do? You gotta get it done. And you've been doing everything from electronics, furniture, lawn, your first dollhouse you built yourself. Everything. Wow, you I mean. You gotta think, Legos were around, but they weren't really targeted towards girls at that time, uh -huh. so we, my, I just got into miniature dollhouses. Okay, so we have video of your first, one of your first DIY projects. That I put online. That you put online, <laughs> and this was? 
Um, I made a fall-inspired bowl out of dollar store leaves in a balloon in decoupage. This is still in my home. This is the first video that I was picked up by HGTV. Oh my gosh, you made that ball. Okay. Yeah. So you have this belief that you can see something and you can figure out how to make it. Oh. So there's I, nothing you can see that you can't make. Uh, at this point, no. My I track love record it. is it's pretty good. And you teach other women to do the same. Exactly. All right. So when you're when you're teaching people, what's the first tip you give them? <sighs> One, breathe. <laughs> One breathe. Breathe. I know it's um, overwhelming and it's intimidating, uh, but the bottom line is you are going to get through this project, mistakes okay. and all. And when it's done... It's done. The confidence in the, the humble bragging you'll be able to oh. do of... Oh, you like that? Yeah, okay. All right, so I speaking of that. humble brag, you recently renovated your son Christopher's bedroom. Let's I take did. a look at Christopher's bedroom. Here's the before, and this is the after. Oh, no! What did you do um, to his room? Take us through. All right, so first thing I did was, this was a bonus room in our home. Uh -huh. So it was about a 16 by 20 foot uh, room, too large for, I don't know, it needed a closet, it needed everything. So ripped all the carpet out, built in a closet, which is a walk-in. Yeah. Um, and then the bed and the stairs are all built into the frame of the home. So all of them are attached to the studs. I created my own uh, stair stringers, laid down the hardwood floors. How old is Christopher to this big room? Fifteen. Oh, he's got a party room. No. And so is that his bed above his, this? It's a queen-size loft bed. Oh, wow. <laughs> and so he can just walk up the stairs. So these stairs lead to his bed? Bed. His bed is up there. There's a, there's a headboard. And there's a desk there. There is. And on this side, there's a cutout. So, like, he can put cups. <sighs> and then across from that will be his TV. He has his record player. He has records on display. I'm going to move into Christopher's Everybody room. Everybody is saying All that. right, Maria's not going anywhere. She's going to finish this DIY headboard, and we'll see how it turns out. Welcome back all hour long. We've been saying DIY on my Maria. Antoinette Loggins has been here creating a DIY headboard from scratch throughout this hour. Even showed me a little bit of how it's done. The moment has come for us to do the big reveal of the bed that you can actually do at home yourself. We're going to take off some of these pillows. Oh, wow. So... First of all, it, it had, I wasn't expecting the leather look of it all. This is gorgeous. Chef's kiss. Chef's kiss. So people really can do this at home. Yes. Save a lot of money and get a chic, customized thing for your own room. Yes. Like, and the options to do this are limitless. Like, you can do different color paints on each one of these circles. Like, you can make, this would be ideal for... Little Mermaid, she just said Little Mermaid. Right. Could you imagine doing a mermaid style bedroom for your little girl? This like, is gorgeous. It's just... So you started out on the project um, here on set. If we were doing this at home, on average, how long does it take you? I will be honest, the most time consuming part of this is cutting out all of the circles. Now you right. can purchase these pre-cut. You're gonna spend an arm and a leg. It is like pennies on the dollar to do it, cutting them to yourself. Okay. Um, so I would say start like during your work week, come home, maybe after dinner, you're gonna sit down and watch your show, your favorite show for a couple of hours or an hour. Just give an hour each day. By the time Friday comes, you can par start putting it together yeah. Friday, Saturday, paint it, Sunday, it's up. Oh, wow. <laughs> and for, for sturdiness, you added slats on the back to keep the, the headboard in yes. place. And I was thinking with the little cutouts, you can make a whole family affair about it. Get it, all your kids, all your neighbor's kids, and make them cut a bunch of circles and That's get that true. done. This is great. Thank you so much. Yeah. It looks amazing. Thank you. Thank you. You do teach and you give great DIY advice. What's your one big piece of advice? Okay, so I know when you see these videos and these people have all of these tools and you're like, I mean, I might as well just go buy it after right. you buy all these tools, right? You guys saw, I literally put this together with a hot glue gun. I can get the plywood cut at the hardware store. This comes already cut in half. Don't overdo it with thinking you have to have every tool right now. Oh, you wow. You can just start off with a glue gun. Stay off with a glue gun. Maria, thank you so much. You. We appreciate you. Congratulations on all your success.